In this video, we're going to talk about Peter Bull and the Philosopher's Time Super Extra, Episode 6. <laughs> the first are active again. <laughs> and I'm going to explain why, guys. So, keep on watching. Um, another pre-framing of this review. It's another hilarious episode. But, there was a twist. So, first order of business, the thumbnail. This concerned look on Peter is no stranger to me, guys. Right? I'm gonna be, um, uh, I'm gonna be honest with you. This is the look that, um, this is the look that he shows every time a potential new member of his harem comes into his life. Yeah, that's it. It's a, it's obviously another elf, and mukhang, ah, uh, siguro, ka rancho ni Vigan. But nonetheless, uh, that book of concern on his face, yeah, we, we should we should take note of that. So I made it into a thumbnail. <laughs> so with that out of the way, guys, let's get to the nitty-gritty of this episode. Face! As usual, short part anime and comedy anime. So I'm gonna some facing. <laughs> Again, I would tell you guys if I uh, as many times as I have to. It's a comedy anime, so expect a fast pacing. Because, well, if you slow the pacing down in a comedy anime, you wouldn't, you wouldn't get the puns, you wouldn't get the jokes. Okay? You wouldn't get the, uh, yeah, practically the, the every funny moment of that episode. Ilala dito, short form anime pa. So, yeah, you gotta, you gotta pick up the pace when it, when it, came to the, when it comes to the storyline. Again, for the end time, when it comes to Peter Quill, I have no complaints about the pacing of this episode. <laughs> short and sweet. Flora Man. Well, short form anime. So, I can only cite one gear shift here. And that's not other than the final scene. Because in the, in the opening sequences, Peter is having problems with his... Yep. Yeah, right? His sidekick down there. He's not getting an erection. <laughs> and now he gets introduced to this um, this really hot elf, elf chick, right? Who's even hotter than Vegan, right? Who has this and this. <laughs> so, may, may ganito na, malaking, mukhang malaking babae, mukhang, mukhang kasi tangkar ni, ni Lisa ito eh. This gear shift triggered that concerned look on Peter's face. It triggered the thumbnail. So, would you say it's a, it's a really good setup for the next episode? Of course. No brainer. It's a no brainer of a gear shift, folks. But it was a total setup for the next episode. I think I short for me. <sighs> Plot wise. Malinis pa rin ang blood, guys. It's a short form anime. If you're going to put a backstory sequence here, you better make it as relevant as possible. Explain the sequences, fine. It totally um it totally uh, brings together the entire plot of a short form anime episode. No backstory, side stories, or explainers. Nope. Just the main continuity of the episode. There's just one continuity. Kasi, well, with an episode this funny, I don't think you should uh, sitch in those things, eh. <laughs> it was so hilarious. In the first half of the episode, yeah, at least in the first half. So, you gotta have a clean plot in order to deliver those, uh, in, or in order to deliver those comic moments. Kailan dapat malinis ang plot, guys. And, well, Peter Grill delivers again when it comes to clean plots. So, pace, flow, and plot, they all came together for this episode, folks. Give me us another, well, like I said, uh, like I said in, in, during the start of this video, a hilarious, another hilarious episode. But, this time, there's a twist to it. Hence the concern to look on Peter's face in the thumbnail. 
So, Peter Quill and the Philosopher's Time Super Extra Episode 6. No brainer. I gotta, I gotta hand it to um to to the studio to the studios behind Peter Quill. I forgot their names already. But don't worry. Uh, if ever we uh if ever we review this uh this anime again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mention. It. Don't worry. I'm gonna shout them out. They, they are doing a swell job, um, giving us one hilarious episode after another. Uh, after another, I'm telling you guys, Peter Quill and the Philosopher's Time is one of the best sex comedy animes in recent memory. Not to mention one of the best borderline hentai's in recent memory. So. If you're still missing out because of your, because of your, uh, because of your stupid moral code, come on, guys! This is an anime. <laughs> it ain't. It's not. It ain't a sin to watch animes like this, especially if you're an adult like me, right? If you were under eighteen, no, I would not recommend Peter Quill to you. Absolutely not. But if you're uh, if you're uh, if you're 18 or yeah, probably as probably as old as I am. I'm 49 now. My old niece was Peter Quill. <laughs> but with this with this episode, yeah, there's a um, a new character was uh, was partially introduced, and we're probably gonna probably gonna see her in uh, uh in the next episode. But for the meantime, enjoy the next review. So again. Peter Quill and the Philosopher's Time, Super Extra, Episode 6.